Sup, everybody. The hero is here. The hero, the champagne poppy. But well, anyway, let's get into my Hero Gate deck profile. So basically, my favorite, you know how there's like 20 billion ways to play heroes? Personally, I like playing Hero Gates. Hero Gates is my favorite way to play elemental heroes. And I gotta show you my deck profile. And don't be triggered because you saw Stratos and this is a non band list deck. And I'm gonna play Stratos. Because Stratos is better than Shadow Mist. I'd rather Shadow Mist be banned and we get Stratos. Mostly because I don't have to deal with Dark Law anymore. But anyway, Stratos, you already know his effect. When he's normal summon, you can activate one of two effects. You can add a card to hand. Or you can destroy as many spells or traps or anything in the back row as possible as the number of elemental heroes besides Stratos on the field. Mostly going to use a search effect anyway. But, yep, triple Stratos. Also, we play triple Voltic. Voltic allows us to go into some crazy OTKs with this deck because you can OTK your opponent with this deck. But basically, when Voltic deals any damage to, to your opponent, you basically can special summon a monster from your Banish pile, which you're going to get a lot of cards banished off of Miracle Fusion and Hero Gates. So, the next card we play is um, triple Ice Edge. Basically, I'd rather use him over um, Bubble Man, because Bubble Man clogged and Ice Edge didn't clog as much, because Ice Edge, when it attacks my opponent and deals battle damage, I can destroy one of their back row, which is a lot better than um, um, Bubble Man, because I mostly never ran out of cards with this deck in hand most of the time, because of the draw power and consistency of this deck. So overall, I did not need Bubble Man, so I played Ice Edge over him. We play the one Wall Heart because I can, because unaffected by traps, what not the like. I play the one Heat because he can get really big and become a big beater for this deck. And I play the one Blaze Man because he looks cool and you can add polymerization to him and don't suffer through the grave, which is really good. Now, well, that's it for the elemental heroes of the deck. On to the spells, the heart and soul of the deck. Triple Fusion Gates. So Fusion Gates allows us to fuse any monster in our hand or field. By ba We can activate this mul card multiple times per turn. And it's just really crazy, and you can do some really nutty combos, like, stuff with this deck. And it's okay if you banish the cards, because you got ways to bring them back with Voltic and with Parallel World Fusion. In order to search out the Fusion Gate, we play Double Terraforming, because 3 too cloggy. Also for draw power, remember non banless version, don't get triggered, because I play Triple Pot of Green. Just because I just want to have a lot of cards in hand, in order to have enough fusion materials. And stuff. And for our searches, I play double E emergency call and the one reinforcement of the army. Also play triple mass change because we do play the mass heroes and the mass heroes basically just give us like strong, like gives this deck more of mm power to it. You know, makes it a little meaner and buffier. Also play double miracle fusion in case we have cards in the graveyard and we need to get them into our banished palm. I basically use Miracle Fusion to get to that. I also play the one Parallel World Fusion because Parallel World Fusion allows you to, with your banished heroes, you can fuse them together and then revert, send them back to your deck. And it's just really good to have in case you only need one of it. I play the one Polymerization because you it's searchable off the bla Blaze Man, and you gotta have Polymerization just because of the Blaze Man. That's <laughs> It just makes Blazeman useless without that. I play the one Dark Hole because of board wipes and the two MSTs to destroy back row because I hate back row. I also play the one Monster Reborn just because I can. On to the traps. The best trap in the deck. Double Macro Cosmo makes it where any card sent to the grave is not sent to the grave and is banished instead. It ruins a lot of decks that rely heavily on the grave and it's just a really awesome card in general. And it's very anti-meta-ish, and it's just really good in general. I play one Mirror Force for defense, one Phoenix Chain for more defense, one Dimensional Prison for even more of that defense, and the one Bombless Trap Hope just because I love defense with my offense. Because, you know, a, t a good deck must have both. Anyway, on to the Fusions. We play Double Shining. Just because he gets really big, because we're banishing a lot of heroes. We play double absolute zero. You must play him at two. 
don't play them at one because you can actually, it's really cool to mass change them into acid and just wipe your whole opponent's board off. Or if you need to, you can actually use him, fusion to him, and then use him and another elemental hero into another fusion, and then you get to wipe their board out and basically attack. He's just really good in general. I'll play Double Great Tornado, just to lower attack of my opponent's monsters. And also for our one of heroes, we play the one Nova Master, because we need a fire. And we play the one guy, which we need to earth in. And I also play the one elemental hero core, my spicy tech. You can take him out for a rank four. But personally, I think it's fun to run him in here. For our mask heroes, we run the one Koga, the one Divine Win, the one Goka. The one Mass Hero Diane, and the best Mass Hero out of all the Mass Hero Acid, which combos well with, um, what was the Elemental Hero Absolute Zero? And for our last card we run, because we can OTK with Voltic in this deck, with the, the Shinings and stuff, I played the one God God Cowboy, because it comes off quite a bit, actually, that you can actually cowboy your opponent, and it just feels really good. Like, cowboying your opponent, one of the best Yu-Gi-Oh feelings in the world. So anyway, this is my Hero Gates deck profile. Leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Tell me anyway in the comments below how to improve my deck. And also tell me what decks you would like me to do, build, what duels you'd like to see, and what deck profiles you'd like me to deal, do. Till next time, I'm signing out because I got some hero business to do. Okay, bye!